So, um, this is the first time in 20 years that uh, we've done a new film. We, of course, um, over time, we've updated the film a little bit. Every time the president did a new parachute jump, um, we added the parachute jump, or every time Mrs. Bush um, had some new accomplishment, we also added that. So we did update the film from time to time, but the basic core film is the same film we've had for, for 20 years. And um, so the president and Ms. Bush are not with us anymore. So it's time for a new film. So can you talk a little bit about the, the process and the thought behind what should be in the new film? Sure. Uh, so very familiar uh, over the years, uh, knowing the, the family and, and all the, the work that's gone on here at the library and all that. So uh, our, our background is, is pretty, pretty rich in, in this history here. Um, for the for the new film, you know, one of the things that you know you and I have talked about uh, over the past years that you know we want to do something that's going to hopefully sit out there for right. another 10, 15 years. I mean, we were real fortunate that the uh, the film that that was in there, the, the one we did, ran for 18 years, I believe. And the other good thing about what we did with that film is we literally filmed. Uh, President and Mrs. Bush on 35 millimeter. That film right now is actually at a at a lab in, in at SMU uh, where they're converting it up to 4K video, and it looks beautiful. Uh, I mean, it looks probably better than the original transfer that we did back in the day because we've upgraded. Uh, the film is going to go up to hopefully 4K or at least HD. Uh, I know we're going to be mixing a lot of media uh, with uh, everything from VHS to, you know, old photos and all that. But, uh, you know, we're really trying to capture the story that, uh, you know, is, you know their, their, life, their lives are complete now. And I think uh, being able to uh, obviously, you know, focus on, you know, their accomplishments uh, in office and uh, his war days and all that, uh, but also the family man and, uh, you know, kind of the legacy he's, uh, they've both left, you know, for their families. So uh, that, that's, that's one of the threads that we're weaving into the, the story. So uh, we're, we're anxious to uh, get back into the archives back here at some point uh, to... Uh, Hopefully soon. <laughs> to dig into... <laughs> Nobody wants that more than me. Oh, I'm, I'm sure. Well, and you know, one of the good things also is I have got uh, a pretty good library myself back at our office of uh, old footage, um, lots of uh, films that we had done in the past that we'll be able to uh, res um, use as resources for that. So. so you have done a lot of stuff. You know, you did uh, an exhibit a few years ago on Barbara Bush and so there was a lot of video for that yeah. and um, of course there's the, there's the archives I think there's 10,000 video cassettes up there all beta analog right. <clears throat> I think there's actually some some three-quarter inch up there too for the early years but there's there's um, uh, millions of photographs so uh, and then there, of course you did talk about the stuff we've done in the early days the interviews which you know some great interviews here him sitting in front of uh, a replica of the White House. Their father. That's I get the responsibility for the goodness. Um, I don't know, each one is different. They're all different. Talk a little bit about the process of how you go and you, you find the resources to, to put in the film. Sure. And, and some of this stuff is, uh, is kind of put on pause right now. I mean, even uh, working through the archives, uh, not just here, but uh, the National Archives trying to get footage out of, out of them. You know, we're, we're looking for, uh, for, for an example, uh, we want to get some uh, aircraft carrier uh, footage of the Avengers taking off, kind of try to create a little bit of a Top Gun moment or whatever, uh, but, uh, you know, getting getting into those researchers uh, and we've done this on other projects too where you you hire researchers and stuff like that so uh, the and part of the thread of the story uh, it, you know we've got uh, fortunately we've got all the audio recordings uh, from the first uh, film we did with them we've got several others that are uh, going to be supplemental 
uh, resources for us where, you know, we have Barbara talking about their time in China. Um, uh, we also did another one where she pretty much uh, went through a full scrapbook. I, I do want to uh, mention one thing that I think is kind of interesting, an interesting parallel. When we, uh, we first started working on the other project, the first project was right at 9-11. And uh, uh, John and myself, uh, we were some of the first researchers to go through some of the scrapbooks that are up there even now. And it was uh, uh, quite, uh, it was uh, quite a moment to be looking at pictures of, uh, you know, GW up against a bike and knowing all the, the deals he's having to deal with with 9-11 uh, and uh, it was just kind of an odd time and and here we are again you know almost 20 years later uh, and, and another very odd time very odd time but uh, nonetheless uh, you know uh, back to the back to the process you know we've we've got we've got an outline you know we know where we want where we're starting we know where we're going to end and then you know a lot of the times um, you, you know, we can we can tell the the story in a narrative form. Uh, getting in to find the resources, uh, the yeah. visual resources. That's that's going to be Support the uh, exactly. And uh, some of that may may change. You know, if we get better resources, then uh, maybe that goes in, and something else comes out. Uh, but it, it's going to be their story. Uh, you know, or. Um, I uh, just uh, really privileged to to be able to work on it.